Operation 400 Week 20. We got Tom kicking off things here with a farmer's walk, 425 pounds in each hand for 50 feet there. Looking awesome, great control there. Here we go again. So Tom did that for uh, two sets there. And he went 50 feet on each set. So these strongman events so are adding a lot of hypertrophy and especially you see where even using straps on the on um, the farmer's walk here because the sole the object the primary objective is hypertrophy not to let grip be the limiting factor we want to tax that musculature so next we got tom going with the yoke here he got up to 800 he went 700 pounds 790 pounds 880 pounds each for 50 feet moved quite well with him you gotta understand tom is not a strong man he's also training you know multiple times a day and doing all this different stuff and uh, we actually pushed it a week past the deload. Things were going so well. We went another heavy week. So, yes, there are some strong men that do that can can do more. But you got to also understand, Thomas training primarily for hypertrophy. And if he was training just for strong men, and, and we would be doing these a lot more regularly in his cycles, and he would be doing a lot more weight. So, and then we got Tom on the overhead press here. Um, he got up to 280 pounds for eight reps, which is huge. This was a weakness for him, and um, you know he was, that was about his max. You know, at the beginning of the year, so this is a huge, huge, huge improvement. And um, we're on to the um, getting some dumbbell overhead pressing in here. Um, he got up to 120 pounds for 13 reps. So what his shoulder workout looked like was he went 280 pounds in the AM for one rep, then three rep, then max rep. He got eight. Then he did 170 for max reps. He got 21. He hit crucifix hold for with 25 pounds each hand, three sets um, for a minute. He did lean, lean away lateral raises, and he went for eight minutes straight. He'd go 15 on one side, um, 15 on the other side, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and did that for eight minutes straight with no break. That was session one. Second session of the day, he, Tom went face pull, and he went uh, just 110 pounds, five sets of 12 reps. He went bent over fly. He um, would dumbbells hold the contraction for two seconds, 35 pounds in each hand for five sets of 10 reps. Band pull aparts, 10 sets of 10. And then he hit the dumbbell overhead presses, 120s, 90s, 60s, each one for max reps. So that went 13, 13, 17. Then he got some forearm work in there. So Tom, um, you know, he's really hammering his shoulders, and that's why you've seen such an explosive shoulder growth there. And uh, we're on to the arm day. So what, what he does on his arm day is, um, you know, we do hit each muscle group more than one day a week. But, you know, usually each workout's going to have a primary driver. It's going to revolve around a core group. In this case, it's more of a muscle um, type of workout. So that being said, uh, we're doing these uh, since Tom's had some elbow issues in the past. We're doing these a little bit um, lighter. So everything's a very strict muscle and tension style. The only thing we do back a lot, though. So he starts the workout off. 90 pounds over his body weight for four sets of three reps and then he moves into the arm the arm workout and what that is is that everything's in a super light uh, or super super strict light control and the feel is most important so we're saving the elbow they're saving the elbows keeping in mind the primary catalyst for growth is going to be the heavy compound movement so each thing we're doing it's still in a muscle and tension style. So what his workout that day looked like after the pull-ups was he did incline cable curls, five sets of 12, decline rope extensions, five sets of 15, reverse fat bar curls, five sets of 12, um, five second negative on those. Um, did some tricep kickbacks. He'd hold the contraction really strong at the top and uh, just finish off with some forearm work. But all that stuff, very strict and really working on feeling the movement. Um, his leg workout was quite a bit different this way or his lower body day. I mean, obviously there's, he's hitting the lower body multiple times a week, but the, the primary driver workout was um, Tom would go wide stance leg press, two second pause at the bottom, 960 for 10, 8, 6, three sets, one up, one down, eccentric leg curls, five second eccentric, 190, five sets of three reps. He hit some glute ham raises for... Um, for three sets of five reps, some more form work. And then in the afternoon, uh, the same day, he hit high shrugs on the calf raise, three sets of eight, hold each one three seconds at the top, 
the Bulgarian dumbbell squats, you just saw 65 pounds each hand, four sets of 12. Lateral step ups, 215 on a 24 inch box, six reps each side for three sets, and finally finish off with 530 for 20 reps on the Hatfield squat.